Calvin Cater was unable to overcome all the obstacles in his way of victory in the UFC on ESPN Plus 21 main event. He suffers a unanimous decision loss to Zabit Megamed Cherry Pop in their featherweight headliner in Moscow. A lot of trials and tribulations for Cater coming into this fight. Of course, he was supposed to fight Zabit a few weeks ago in his hometown of Boston. The fight gets postponed and he ends up having to go all the way to Russia into enemy territory into Zabit's backyard to take this fight. Puts in a valiant effort it over the course of three rounds he was definitely coming on later towards the end of the third round you wonder how this fight would have unfolded if it was scheduled four or five rounds of course that was not the case because it was bumped up from the co-main event when junior dos santos pulled out of the headliner against alexander volkov and they did a little bit of reshuffling for this card nevertheless cater i don't think comes out all that bad from this loss. I don't think it drops his stock too badly. It raises it. If anything, he gets a fight of the night bonus in this defeat. Uh, that's definitely going to take some of the sting off this loss for him, but he is a very competitive guy. Made no excuses after the fact, which was very respectable. Came and gave Zabit all his respect and just said he wasn't able to get going as early in the fight as he had hoped for. Uh, still very much a guy to watch in the featherweight division. There's some interesting fights ahead for Cater as he tries to continue building his profile in this weight class. One matchup I'd definitely like to see him in is against Jeremy Stevens, a guy who is as seasoned of a veteran as it gets in the octagon, has among the most UFC fights in history. Stevens coming off a fight of the night loss of his own against Yair Rodriguez just a few weeks ago. We know he is always game, always willing to take any fights the UFC presents him, and I think a matchup between Cater and Stevens has fireworks written all over it. Two guys with big time knockout power who want to stand there and trade. I think coming off this loss Cater, if he is able to rebound against someone like Stevens, gets him right back in a spot to get another big fight like Zabit. Again, don't think this defeat drops his profile too much in this weight class and very interested to see where he goes from here. And I think it should be a matchup against Stevens.